just like millions of you, the Express 101 is always there for me. And I can't imagine improving on what's already my most used kitchen helper. But I've heard improvement is exactly what's happened. And there's only one person in the world who's qualified to let us in on the news. So let's join my friend, Kathy Mitchell, and discover what's happened to the easiest cooking appliance in my home. Kathy, hey, how hi, are Joe. you? Good to see Great you. Great to see you too. I love my Express 101. Well, I think you're gonna love it even more now because look what we can do. Big, thick, man-sized sandwiches, beautiful frittatas and quiches, full size. And look at these pies, blueberry, even cherry. You couldn't do that before. You've improved on perfection. I think we've made it even more perfect. Come on. Joe, this is the Express Ready, Set, Go. Well, Kathy, this is beautiful. And it is ready. Look what we've done. We took out that center divider, so now mm. you have 25% more cooking area. So you can cook a lot of different things Exactly in here. right, like about pizza. It makes the best pizza I've ever had. Now, this is my almost instant pizza dough, and the recipe comes with it. All you have to do is pop it in there and then put whatever toppings you like. It's a personal pizza, so you don't have to wait for the delivery man, pay extra for all the toppings. No tip for the driver here. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> now this is that reduced fat turkey pepperoni. You'll never tell the difference except it's not so greasy. So we're and you're saving here. a lot of calories. Little light mozzarella. Do you like peppers? Sure. Okay, and how about Throw some Throw it out. Oh, more toppings. Okay, that pizza's gonna take seven minutes and we've got a built-in timer, so I just set it for seven minutes and it'll call me when the pizza's done. And the go part is, see the green light? Uh -huh. That green light comes on, you know your machine is preheated and ready to start cooking. Ready, set, go. Wow, a lot of improvements here, Kathy. And a lot of possibilities. Now, you don't always have to use pizza dough. Like, look here, these are corn tortillas. I'm gonna make kind of a Mexican stacked pizza. And what I did was I just spread some beans on this corn tortilla and we're gonna just drop it right in there. Fits perfectly. Now I'm gonna stack another one on top of that and now we're just gonna put on some meat. This is a great way to get rid of leftovers. So we've got a little cheese on there. And this one's only going to take about five minutes. So I can set that timer for five minutes. And now I don't lose track of what's cooking. Have you ever had a Hawaiian pizza? I know they exist. Okay, this is pita bread. And it tastes almost exactly like pizza crust. So you got a pita pizza. Pita pizza, that's right. <laughs> now just drop that in there. Now all you have to do is add your toppings. Mm -hmm. Okay, just, just swish it around it there. there. Yeah, exactly. In this case, I'm going to use Canadian bacon. Okay. So we just make like a little pinwheel of that around there. So we got some cheese here. You want to add the pineapple? Just, sure. Just, just scoop out a couple of chunks, chunks right on there. Here. Yeah. Okay. You can have exactly what you want on it. And that's going to take, again, about only five minutes because the crust is basically already cooked. This is all great, but I think all of us are really going to miss cooking those side-by-side -side meals you used to show oh, us. Oh, I don't think you're going to miss it at all. Come on, let me show you something. <laughs> Is this what you thought you were gonna miss? This is the new insertable divider pan and it goes in just like that. So now you've got two machines. And it's still the world's best no-fold omelet maker. Love those omelets. I do too. This is just two beaten eggs and I'm gonna divide it between the wells just like this. So for the guys, you like those meat and potato omelets? Yep. Some steak and some potatoes, a few mushrooms. And on the other side, how about a veggie omelet? This is mushrooms and peppers and onions. Now I'm gonna just put a little cheese on top and close that lid. And neatness doesn't count. Neatness I remember you said that. Now that's going to rise up again It's going to rise up and in seven minutes we're going to have a perfect omelet. Cooking from top All to right. bottom. Now, how about a weekend breakfast? How about some stuffed French toast? Oh, uh, stuffed French toast? I've never heard of that <laughs> oh, one. Oh, it's delicious. I bought this extra thick bread. I've spread it with a little cream cheese and mm -hmm. some strawberry jam. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and use this egg substitute. So just roll that sandwich in that egg batter. And in this case, now I'm using the entire cooking area of the machine. That's going to take about five minutes. So I just set the timer for five minutes. And how about some lunch? I'm ready. Okay, well, I'm going to make you a grilled sandwich. So I've just got a nice piece of French bread here. I'm going to put on a little ham and some cheese and some tomatoes and the top. Now, I like to brush it with just a little bit of olive oil, which is very healthy for you. Mm -hmm. And we'll pop that right in there. Hey, this is like a panini. And that'll cook in just about five minutes. So we'll set that timer. And over here, I'm gonna make two sandwiches at once, so I've got the divider in. Now, you like wraps? Yeah. This is pastrami, so I'm gonna put a little bit of mustard on it first. You can use the different colored tortillas, the red and the green tortillas. Oh, yeah, yeah. And I'm just gonna lay that on there. Oh, okay, yeah, that's good lean meat, too. And some Swiss cheese. Sure, pastrami Can't and Swiss. Can't have pastrami without pickles, right? All you do is fold in the sides and roll it up. Now, don't try to miniaturize the food because this has got plenty of room and you've got a nice deep well top and bottom. And it's got the hinged lid so it'll raise exactly. up. Exactly. Now, how about a corn dog? Oh, I love corn dogs. It reminds me of being at the fair. Well, you're just a big kid. I know that. I am. Now, just like if I was cooking this in the oven, I'd spray the pan. I'm going to spray 
okay. my express. That way there's no sticking ever. Now when I make a corn dog personally, I put the whole hot dog in, but a friend of mine says they like it cut up because that way they get dog in every bite. So <laughs> like So that. you got the whole pack in there. It all works just like that. And close that lid. About seven minutes. All right, ready, set, go. Ready, set, go. Ah, that's your pizza calling you. Come on. Okay. Kathy, it smells like a pizzeria in here. Oh, I know, but it doesn't cost like a pizzeria in here because these pizzas cost about $1 each. Look at this, a perfect personal pizza with exactly what you want on it. That's our Hawaiian with the Canadian Look bacon and the pineapple. And now how about our stacked pizza? Look stacked at that. Stacked pizza. Now that's our tortillas with oh, our Kathy, beans and meat. Kathy, that smell oh, is Oh, it does. Doesn't it smell great? I'm going to add on a little bit of lettuce and tomato. Get this. And my daughter made this up. These are crushed nacho chips, and it just gives it a little zing. Fiesta. Fiesta, exactly. <laughs> now, okay. oh, right on time, here's our pepperoni pizza. Now, uh, this wow. is your traditional pepperoni pizza. And that dough smells so good. It's uh, so fresh wait smelling. Wait till you taste. Now, this is just, oh, and can, can you hear how crisp it is? I heard the crunch. Listen to that crunch. Are you finally going to feed me here? I, I am, but it's going to be really hot. I'm going to jump in and eat it. So fresh, so crisp, and so gooey on the top. And I believe love it or this. not, that's under 200 calories and only about a dollar. <gasps> Sounds so. like breakfast is ready. <laughs> You know, people love omelets, but a lot of people are afraid to make them. But look how easy they come out in here. Kathy, Isn't that that's beautiful? beautiful. No folding. And another thing you're going to love about the insertable divider pan is that it makes it a lot easier to serve. And look, this just pop right out and onto the plate. That's our meat lover's omelet. And here's our vegetarian omelet. And look how they just come right and out. Look at no that. cleanup. That would just wipe out with a damp cloth, but you know, it'll go in the dishwasher. It's wonderful. More versatility for Absolutely. you there. Absolutely. Okay, look, here's right. our French toast. Your stuffed French toast. Exactly. And remember, I can utilize the whole base and, and the other side of the spatula that lifts the larger things and look at this now wait till i cut into this remember this has the stuffing of the cream cheese and the strawberries mm -hmm. and it's hot oh, oh does that look delicious yeah <laughs> we barely had time for breakfast and now lunch is ready <laughs> now you remember this was our grilled sandwich oh look, oh, at, look that. at that Isn't our that panini beautiful? right now i'm going to use the large side of the spatula and just lift that onto the cutting board. And I want you to see that it is just chock full of stuff. Doesn't that look delicious? Oh. So crisp and so delicious. All right, now look over here because here's our corn dog. There it is. Look at all those little guys in there. I'm they popped right you, out. You can have it fast and easy just like that. And my kids like a little bit of mustard to dip it in sure, as they sure. eat it. And now this is our pastrami wrap. Let's cut into that guy and see what we got. Oh, look how full I that is. Doesn't that look delicious? Look at that. Oh. It smells like a deli in it here. It does. That's oh, wonderful. I love a good wrap. Now, are you ready for some dinner? I'm always ready for all food. All right, come on down here. Oh, wait a minute. Now, you're going to put a steak in this? I would put my ready, set, go steak up against the finest restaurant and win. <laughs> All right, now I'm just brushing it with a little bit of steak sauce. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to put it right in the machine. Uh -huh. And in and it goes. The divider is out, so you have the full cooking area now right. you can now, you use. you hear that sizzling? Wow. You like onions and mushrooms? Sure. Oh, sure. So I'm going to just cut up this mushroom and onion. Okay. Now let me turn this over. I want to show you how much sear we've got already on that steak. Look, Look at that. Look at that. So okay. this does heat up quickly. Oh, it does. Now I'm just going to go ahead and put in those mushrooms and onions. And that's going to cook to medium in about seven to eight minutes. Now, okay. how about some unfried fried chicken? Fried chicken is so delicious and so much fat. We've got a skinless breast mm -hmm. and some legs, and I'm going to just roll them in some crushed up cereal crumbs. But you can use any kind of cereal you want. Just crush it up real fine. Now, the only oil I'm going to use for this chicken is a little nonstick spray. No deep fat fryer, no, no warming the oven up. No deep fat frying, exactly. All right in this. Look and you know, at without this. that divider, my God. You said got. you've got 25% more room. Three big pieces of chicken in there. And it all fits. Now, all these recipes are in the cookbook with times. That chicken is going to take about 10 to 12 minutes, depending on how big the pieces are. Okay. okay. All right. Now, over here, I've got a full course meal. And Meat there's our divider. And a side dish. These are pork tenderloin medallions oh, oh, oh. that I've marinated in a little teriyaki. Listen to that sizzle. Oh. Now, for a side dish for pork, I love sweet potatoes. So I've got some sweet potatoes and apple pieces mixed up together with a little bit of brown sugar. And that is going to cook in about eight minutes. All right. Low-cal meatballs. These are ground turkey. 
less than three ingredients, my kind of recipe. Wow, for me healthy for you. Absolutely, and pop them right in there. Now, these are going to cook without watching, without rolling, without turning in just about eight <coughs> minutes. You don't have to deep fry. When you taste them, you won't even hardly tell the difference. <laughs> now, I've heard you're a bit of a party animal. Yeah, as long as it's before eight o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, hors d'oeuvres go with a party, and what I've got here are some crab stuffed mushrooms. All I do is mix up the stuffing and then top each one with a mushroom. So they're kind of upside down right now, but when they're done, we'll flip them over and we'll have hors d'oeuvres in about four minutes. It is so much fun. Four minute hors d'oeuvres. That's right. All right. Ready, set, go. Oh, I think that uh, <laughs> steak is ready. Are you ready for that challenge? Yep. All right. And let's take a look. Oh, look at that. Can you smell that? Oh, man. <laughs> you said you'd put this steak up against any other steak? I would any indeed. other way. The mushrooms have been caramelized with the onions. Isn't and that beautiful? Seven I'm going to cut it right steak. down the middle because I want you to see. Look at that. Oh. That's perfect medium steak. Now, if you like it a little more well done, you could leave it in a little bit longer. I'm just catch a little. Now, it's going to be hot. Okay, Are you I'll ready? be careful. Yeah, but it's worth it. It's as good as a restaurant steak, is it not? Kathy, Perfectly you met the good. challenge. Excellent, excellent steak. All right, now how about some chicken? And would you look at that? Fantastic. Unfried fried Unfried, chicken. Unfried fried chicken. That's cut the fat way down. That's a good size That's a great dinner. looking dinner, isn't it? That's okay. beautiful. Now over here, this was the pork. And again, I love the fact that I can take this out because it makes it so much easier to serve. I'm just gonna put out that pork and let's get those potatoes out. Those are sweet oh. potatoes. Oh, they look delicious, don't they? You want a little taste? Hmm. Isn't that delicious? It's the most delicious program I've ever worked on. <laughs> All right, I want to show you a couple of ideas over here. This is an idea you're going to love. This is my leftover box. Leftovers make great pizzas. I'm going to make you a white pizza. Mm. For a white pizza, I'm just going to use a little uh, ranch dressing. Just kind of. Now, let's look in the leftover box and see what needs to get used up. Uh, here's some broccoli. This may be the only way you can get broccoli into your kids. I've got some, oh, some shredded chicken here. Let's add that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And a little bit of mozzarella cheese. Get rid of these leftovers. <laughs> Think of the money I'm saving. Seven minutes. Okay, seven minutes. Seven pizza. minutes from pizza. <laughs> All right. Oh, sounds like our minis are ready. Okay. All right, now this was city minis, yes. <laughs> okay, now look. Oh, aren't these cute? Those are great. Right? Perfect. Now these are our little pigs in a blanket. And I want you to see, because that's the pancake mix. Mm -hmm. It's just a little smoky in the bottom look of each at one. That. Little doggy and in there. And you put them out on the plate and the kids just dip them right in the syrup and eat them with their fingers. What it's, a fun it's just a breakfast great breakfast for kids. for kids. These are the eggsters. Right, the ones I brought from the fridge. Right. We can just dump okay. those are with the omelet around uh -huh. them. Kids love them. And this, because it comes out, will go right in the dishwasher. No cleanup at all. Now, all right, this is uh Oh, Not your grandmother's meatballs. Meatballs. <laughs> this I've got to try. All right. Now, I'm going to give you a tiny little bite of one of them. Okay. Just That's kind of cheating. And I'm going to put some of them on my spaghetti. Mm. Is that good? And remember, that's turkey. So it's almost a health so food. So, you know, you make those meatballs up ahead of time. When you get home from work, just pop them in the machine, and you've got dinner in 10 minutes. Now, over here, this is the party stuff, right? Right. These were your stuffed mushrooms, These are the stuffed cats. mushrooms. And again, because I can remove that insert, I can just put my plate right on there and flip it over, and look at that. Wow. That goes back in there because, you know, if you're having a party, there's nothing worse than cold hot hors d'oeuvres. So we can just... <laughs> you know, Kathy, this is absolutely remarkable, but have you been holding something back from me? Like dessert? Well, I have some very special desserts. Come on over here and I'll <laughs> okay. show you. This first one I've got, it's kind of a giant cookie pizza. I call it a kukitsa. <laughs> just mix up your favorite cookie dough. This happens to be oatmeal chocolate chip. Anytime you need a quick dessert, pop it right in just like this. Look at that, a kukitsa right kukitsa, into the well. Right in the well in four minutes. Oh. Now, I know you love chocolate. Mm -hmm. I heard this is your dad's favorite. Dad loves this one and he's got those little candy bars all, all over right, the house. All right, candy bar uses. filled cakes. There is a recipe that tells you how to take a box cake mix and split it into thirds. So you just okay. fill the wells. And now in this side, I'm just going to put a little candy bar treat. Now, this is really going to be a mystery dessert because I have no idea what flavor this is. <laughs> in that same chocolate cake, I've mm -hmm. got coconut macaroons right down the middle. So we're going to set, close the lid, set the timer for seven minutes. Two different kinds of desserts. Now, Fantastic. come on over here because i got something really special to show you. There's lots of different insert pans that will go in here. This happens to be the full round insertable. And I like this because I use it for my world famous upside down cake. Uh -huh. So in the bottom, I've got some butter and some brown sugar. And I'm just going to put three pineapple rings. This will serve three to six people, depending on who those people are. <laughs> okay, so the, I have the pineapple rings and a little cherry in the middle of each one. And this is just a yellow box cake mix. So you just fill it, pop it in there, 
And that's going to bake for seven minutes. And you didn't have to heat up the whole oven. And that's going to save you a lot of money on energy. Oop. I think our leftover makeover is done. Okay, smells good in here. <laughs> and, and there's our white pizza. Wow. Now remember, th we made this with leftovers, things you normally would have just thrown out. So it's really good for the budget. And wait until you taste it. Oh, can you hear how crunchy that is? Yeah. I know you want to taste it. Yeah, this. I am kind of a pizza fan. <laughs> Give that a try. Is that good? You know, this does not taste like leftovers. It tastes like a freshly cooked meal. <laughs> so you're loving the express ready, set, go now as much as I do? I am, and I'm going to have another <laughs> bite of pizza. Okay.